Now we're going to talk about using uh, VBA code to sort a range of data and we're also going to talk about using the find method in VBA. So in this example here we have a list of supply purchases by three different branches and currently the data is sorted by purchase date. What we would like to do is sort that by location and then once we have column A sorted by the branch location we'd like to find the first instance of the north branch post sorting and then find the last the last row that contains the north branch data and then copy just the north branch data to a new worksheet so to get back into the VBA editor window hit alt F11 we're going to insert a new module we'll call this sub sort and find so a good idea when sorting is to declare a range for the complete data set you know create a variable range object variable for the entire uh, range of cells you want to sort and then a second range object variable for the range that you're going to sort on so just the column um, so we're going to declare a range object variable and then our sort range object variable so our range variable oops it's an object variable so you have to use the keyword set and it will be equal to our range beginning in A2 followed by another range that starts out at range A2 but we end Excel down to the last cell containing data and then end Excel to the right to get the last column containing data. And what I'm going to do is copy this because this is also going to be our sort range, just column A. So what this does is the top corner of our range up here is A2. The bottom corner, well, it starts at A2, goes all the way down to the last row containing data, and then all the way to the right to the last column containing data. This does for our sort range the same thing, minus going to the right. It's just looking at starting out at column A2 in cell A2, going all the way down to the last row containing data. So now we're going to reference our entire range and then use the keyword sort or method sort. You can see it has additional um, optional arguments there. We do need to enter uh, the key one being what we want to sort on. There we're going to reference our sort range that we created earlier because we want to sort on column A, the location, and that is our sort range. Um, we also want to define a sort order, so we want that to be ascending. And we'd also like to put yes for headers, Excel yes. So now what we want to do once we have this data sorted by branch, 
we want to find the first row that the North Branch data is located on and then the last row that the North Branch data is located on. So we're going to create uh, a couple of variables to find that first and last instance of the North Branch once it's sorted. So I'm just going to call this variable in one or the beginning row. Um, again, we're going to reference our sort range object and we're just going to use the find method. And all we're looking for is north branch. And then finally, we want to return the row, use the row property to return the row where that, that first instance of the north branch is located. So now we want to find the last row. Going to be similar, but a little different. I'm going to copy this and just tweak it slightly. So based on what we know, we have three branches, east, north, and south. So if we sort ascending, the, the next row below the last north branch row should be the first instance of the south row. So we're going to do a find on the first south branch row and then subtract one from that row value. And that will get us our last north branch row. So now we want to reference these variables in the range object. So we want to find in column A row is going to be our first variable. So column A, whatever row this occurs on, is where we want to begin and then column C and whatever the last row is, our second variable. We want to copy that data add a worksheet and then just use a simple cells uh, object reference to to reference call, uh, cell A1 on that new worksheet once it's added and we're just going to paste special paste all. It's usually a good idea when you paste into a new worksheet to go ahead and think about auto fitting the columns because there's always the chance they won't fit. Um, so that's what we'll do now. So we'll F8 through this. So we should see everything get sorted here once we execute this line of code. And it does. So now our variable for the first instance of the north branch row is returns a value of 18. That's where it begins. When we execute this, this will show us the last row it happens on which is row 28, which is correct. So we'll copy that range now. We'll add a new worksheet. We'll paste into that worksheet and then auto fit the columns. So that is how you can sort a range of data and then find a particular uh, value within that set of data. Thanks for watching guys.